Ellen McCauley in Syracuse, New York. But you're saying, you know what, Ellen, I don't always eat when I'm hungry, and I do persevere, but that darn scale just won't budge. It won't budge. Well, I have not one, not two, but seven tips for when the scale won't budge. Tonight, someone said to me, you look really good, Ellen. And in my mind, I'm thinking, but the scale won't budge. And she said, I looked really good. That made me feel good, number one. And number two, it's not just about the scale. It's about coming and, and the communion and the faith and, and being together and not weighing 300. We need to de-emphasize the scale because the time is going to go by, everybody. It's going to come by, and before you know it, you're going to be like Ginny and lose 20 pounds. Ooh, happen. One pound at a time. You have to have someone who's honest. Bob and I are fortunate we have each other. Sometimes we'll go out and I'll look at his plate and I'll say, whoa, three carbs on the plate? And he goes, it's so bad being married to the facility. <laughs> <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> and so then the next time we do something, he goes, look, Mom, no carbs. You know? <laughs> but you need someone who's going to be honest. If you have a friend who's like, oh, honey, you've been doing so good. You have that jelly. Don't not. You deserve that. Is that an honest buddy? No. Also, don't worry about breaking old habits. Start some new ones. If you've tried to break a habit and you just can't do it, start a new habit. Be successful at it. Feel good about yourself. Also, diet boredom. If you keep eating the same old foods, you could get to a plateau. Someone said to me tonight, you know, Ellen, I think you need, uh, people are always giving me tips and I love it, you know, eat for your blood type or drink this or do that. And you know what? I listen to them because we're, we can always have a tip that will really help us. Oh, I love this one. Clean up your environment. Get rid of your clutter. Be organized. We have not gone to the flea market yet, but we have a staging uh, center in our garage. We are going to go. People are going to have gone yet. Do you still want something? We're going to be going all the way through the end of August. And people have been donating wonderful things. And when Vince wins his Academy Award, he already promised to say, and I'd like to thank the Pray It Off group for donating their junk to help me through NYU. He promised. He will say that. And you know what? He's my boy. He will say it. So bring him that junk and you will be part of the Academy Award nominated speech. Also, stop dwelling on your diet and live your life. If every day you say, I'm fat, I don't lose weight, I'm terrible, I'm a pig, this is, I'm in size 18 jeans, I should be in size 5, what we do is we look at the sun and the stars and the sea and we say, praise you, Jesus Christ, because life is tough, but I still have life. Praise you, Jesus Christ, for the ability to have losing weight be one of my problems when people in this world are starving. And another thing we need to do is praise Jesus Christ because he's given us another today to start. If we take care of little things and we do little things, big things will follow. And you know, my sister Kathy, many of you know I talk about her because she's my heart and my soul and uh, she's been suffering with a with a debilitating illness, but she's got the spirit of Christ in her. And uh, before she got sick uh, with the MS, she w was so into, and still we play it for her, but she had a boom box and she was addicted to the praise and worship songs. You know, She would have that cassette tape going and every birthday, every Christmas, we'd buy her religious CDs or you know cassette tapes. And her favorite, favorite, Christy Lane, and she would play it and play it and play it. And I have to say that there's probably not a day that goes by that I don't think to myself, one day at a time, one day at a time. And then I thought this week, we're talking about perseverance. We're talking about the, the strength of Jesus. Why have I never played one day at a time, sweet Jesus? And if you want to break out in song, Kathy, this is for you, baby. <laughs> 